my name is Crystal Webster, and I am a woman with a career in manufacturing. Uh, I'm a supervisor here at Alumagard. Um, I started out here as a hourly welder um, and have worked my way up to um, a supervisor in the department. When I was a welder, I uh, actually started out um, about 15 years ago welding, working on race cars. It was kind of a male-dominated sport, but um, I kind of got into that. I thought that was very neat. Uh, I started out weld welding steel, and we uh, had done some aluminum here and there, and I always liked welding aluminum. And somehow I got lucky enough to find the job here. I started as just an hourly worker welding gates uh, for about a year and a half um, before I became a supervisor. My background is I went to uh, Pasco Hernando Community College before it was a state college. I went through their welding program over in Dade City. It's about a two year program. Um, it taught you the basics from just starting out to where I can do what I do right now. I found out about the program um, because mainly I went looking for it. I, when I started out, I was welding race cars and it was all steel. And the one thing I could not learn was how to weld aluminum. The person that I was working with just did not have the capability of teaching me. I started welding mainly because of the race cars. I um, was really into building roll cages and doing the fabrication on them. Um, and it was just, it was something I thought was just extremely neat. I really did. I just liked the entire concept of making something and it staying together um, and being able to bend things and contort things into something. Um, and it was just, it was a very neat thing to me. And I, I really liked it. And I've just, I've never gotten away from it. I love my job. Um, I love coming in and being able to make things and see we have to make other people's ideas into reality. So just because somebody thought it up, we have to pull it off of a piece of paper and make it happen. And I like that. I like being able to be creative at work. And um, we do have the ability to have a little leeway in some of the things we do and make some of our own decisions and things like that, which to me makes it a lot of fun. I, I had one of my guys the other night make a spice rack. It was just cool because it was just something he wanted to make. And it, we got to think it through and draw it all out and make it. And it was just fun. We need more women in all kinds of trades. And women don't need to be um, afraid to do a trade. Uh, there are electricians, plumbers, carpentry. There's women out there that, that do all of that stuff and don't get the recognition that they deserve. Because it is a man-based um life. It really is. And women really have to fight to come to the top in it. I've absolutely been treated differently my entire life because I was a woman. Um, it's, it's always been a struggle. Uh, you always have to prove yourself. I was told at a job one time that I was taking a man's job. You, uh, you overcome it by just going out and proving yourself every day. You just go out and you have to just prove you're, you're where you're supposed to be. You're um, in the position you are because you work hard, you come to work every day, you have good work ethic, and it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. You're, you're there because you do a good job. Women make better welders than men do. They have more patience, they have um, a better tolerance, and a lot of men don't see that or understand it, but I, I actually am lucky enough to have a great group of guys now that I work with. I only have two other girls in my department um, that have all... I've earned their respect after these, this many years. They all know that I can do the job and I don't have to take a whole lot of flack from them. I think women coming into the industry of manufacturing, whether it be in any field, is, is gonna continue to grow stronger and stronger. Women are out every day. It's no longer uh, a man-dominated world. Um, women are coming in every day. We have almost as many women come through for interviews to work in, in the plant as we do men. I would definitely recommend a uh, career in manufacturing to other women. There's a lot of potential here for advancement. Um, and I, like I said, I started out as just an hourly worker and a year and a half later, I was a salaried supervisor. We have absolute room for advancement here. Um, and the women are treated just as fairly as the men here. Uh, they, we all hold similar positions, men and women. And within the positions, we aren't treated any differently than the men. Um, they're given the same opportunities that we're given, and we're given the same opportunities that they're given. I currently, at night, am the adult education teacher for 
Suncoast Tech, and I teach welding myself now. High school students are also taking it. Uh, they have seven days a week that they are running uh, six classes a day for uh, ninth through 12th graders at the high school, and there are a lot of teenage girls in that program. I think we need to bring more people into the technical side of everything, not just welding, but um, plumbing, electrical, uh, carpentry. All of those fields are what makes everything go. I think that in a high school level, they really need to start instilling in kids that don't have intentions on going to college and aren't college bound for four years, don't know what really what they want to do with themselves. Trades are amazing. It's something you never lose. You will always have it with you. Um, and nobody can take it away from you. It, no matter what job you have, you can always fall back on it. My advice for anybody that's going into manufacturing would be to not worry about what everyone around you is thinking or worry about whether you're going to be good enough. If you come in and do your job, the supervisors are going to see you here. Bosses are going to see you here doing your job every day. And really, as long as you're getting paid at the end of the day and you're not having any problems and um, you enjoy your job, it, the rest of it comes really easy. Enjoying your job is the big part though.